In a political atmosphere thick with tension and anticipation, former President Barack Obama has stepped back into the fray, unleashing a sharp and stinging barrage of insults at Donald Trump. At a crucial swing state rally in Arizona, Obama didn't hold back, using humor, scorn, and poignant memories to dismantle Trump's persona and highlight what he sees as hypocrisy. This wasn't just about politics, it was about the values that Obama believes America stands to lose if Trump returns to the White House. Barack Obama's speech at a recent rally in Tucson, Arizona, was a masterclass in political roasting, but it was also a wake-up call for voters. With Kamala Harris struggling to gain ground in key swing states like Arizona, the Democratic Party turned to its most beloved figure to rally support. And Obama delivered. Addressing a crowd of 7,000, he took direct aim at Donald Trump, painting him not just as a flawed leader but as a dangerous pretender who continues to mislead the American people. This latest address is part of a larger effort by Democrats to energize their base and capture the votes of key demographics, especially young men, who could prove pivotal in the upcoming election. But Obama's speech was about more than winning votes, it was a reminder of the values that should guide America's political discourse. Obama's sharpest jabs came when he mocked Trump's behavior during a recent town hall event in Pennsylvania. Describing the former president's antics, where Trump danced on stage for 30 minutes after two people fell ill, Obama ridiculed, you would be worried if your grandpa was acting like this. It was a cutting remark, but it set the tone for the rest of his speech, where he portrayed Trump as a man out of touch with reality and unfit for leadership. By calling Trump a pretend tough guy, Obama wasn't just criticizing his demeanor, he was questioning the authenticity of Trump's entire persona. The former president went on to highlight Trump's hypocrisy, pointing out his recent endeavor to sell Trump Bibles, an edition allegedly printed in China. So, Mr. Tough Guy on China, except when he can make a few bucks hawking his Trump edition Bibles, Obama said, drawing laughter from the crowd. He emphasized that despite Trump's claims of being tough on Beijing, his actions consistently show otherwise. Obama's remarks exposed what he viewed as a pattern of grifting and double standards, painting Trump as a man who is quick to criticize others but slow to practice what he preaches. This speech marked a shift towards more personal attacks from Obama, reflecting concerns within the Democratic Party about Kamala Harris's slipping poll numbers. Reports suggest that Harris is struggling in key battleground states, including Arizona, where Trump currently holds a narrow lead. Obama's role, therefore, was not just to attack Trump but to appeal directly to the voters Harris needs to win over, especially young men who may be swayed by Trump's tough guy image. I've noticed this, especially with some men who think Trump's behavior, the bullying, and the putting people down, acting all pretend tough guy, that somehow that's a sign of strength, Obama said. I am here to tell you that is not what strength is. Never has been. Obama also paid tribute to his late friend and former adversary, Senator John McCain, using their rivalry as an example of political civility and respect that has been lost in the Trump era. Reflecting on McCain's defense of him during the 2008 campaign, when a voter labeled Obama as an Arab, Obama recalled how McCain, despite being his opponent, defended his character. He believed in honest argument and hearing the views of other people. He didn't demonize his political opponents, Obama said. By invoking McCain, a revered figure in Arizona, Obama not only reminded voters of the respect and decency that once characterized American politics but also highlighted Trump's blatant disregard for such values. Obama's most powerful moments came when he revisited Trump's infamous comment about McCain, where Trump labeled him a loser for being captured during the Vietnam War. When Donald Trump lies or cheats or bullies or shows utter disregard for our Constitution, when he calls service members like John McCain losers because they died in battle or were captured, people make excuses for it, Obama stated, his tone shifting from humorous to grave. It was a reminder of the sacrifices made by people like McCain, contrasted sharply with Trump's cavalier attitude toward service and honor. As the rally drew to a close, Obama continued to chip away at Trump's carefully crafted image, questioning his ability to relate to ordinary Americans. In a lighter moment, he asked the crowd, do you think this guy has ever changed a diaper or a tire? The laughter was deafening, 
but the message was clear, Trump, in Obama's view, is out of touch with the everyday struggles of the people he claims to represent. Barack Obama's speech in Arizona was more than a campaign rally, it was a call to action, a plea for Americans to remember the values of decency, respect, and honesty that he believes are at stake. With humor, poignancy, and a few pointed insults, he reminded voters why the upcoming election is about more than just choosing a leader, it's about choosing what kind of country America wants to be. Whether or not his words will resonate with those crucial swing voters remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, Obama is not done fighting, and neither, it seems, is this battle for the soul of the nation.